Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach, and today I will be teaching you guys how to lower your car in Photoshop. So this is just to make the appearance that your car is lowered. Uh, if you're maybe wondering if you want to do that or not. Um, so, to get started, uh, you just have to duplicate the back layer, or the picture layer, and turn off the back layer. So whatever layer is on the bottom, just turn that off, because we're going to be mainly using the top layer. I'm just going to crop it a little bit. It's an older picture of my RX-7, my first gen rose. Um, so what you're going to want to do is erase everything but the body of the car, and that includes the wheels. Um, so I kind of fidget with the brushes here for a little bit, but that's fine. Um, also, for the picture that you want to use, try to use a picture at this angle. I find that this angle works the best, or a completely side angle of your car. Um, but weird angles, it starts to get kind of odd. Um, and also try to choose a picture with a background that can be easily replicated. Um, and I'll get to more of that in a second. So, I'm just going to kind of zoom through here. You just want to pick apart everything that is not the body of the car. Uh, because what we're actually going to do is we're going to take the top layer and just transform it uh, and move it down. Um, so the wheels will stay in place but the actual body is literally being lowered um, <clears throat> so yeah this is just a rough render I'm not saying this is going to look absolutely perfect but if you're considering lowering your car it's really helpful uh, to know that and um, it kind of get an idea of what it will look like and also I'm using Photoshop elements for Mac um, so yeah So once you have everything else deleted, uh, what you're going to want to do is turn the background layer back on and it should look completely normal. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is take that top layer, go to image transform or file transform depending on what version you have, and just use your down arrows and bring it down to where you want your desired wheel gap. So as you can see I put the tire a little bit behind the fender for a little bit of tuck. Um, so I think the car looks pretty good at this point, but as you can see, the background image still has the car at its regular height. So what you're going to want to do is go to the background layer, and you're going to want to use the stamping tool, the clone stamp tool, which you just use option to pick where you're grabbing from, and you just kind of fill it in. Just use a, uh, a fuzzy eraser usually does the job pretty well. And this is where the background really comes in, because if you have a lot of straight lines, it's going to look less believable. So like the, the bushes in the back and the grass is really easy to do, um, but as you can see the curb was kind of a problem. Um, so basically you just go around with the clone stamp tool and you just kind of work it a little bit on the background layer. So as you can see this is our final product and it shows that the car is um, quite lower than it was before. The wheels are tucking a little bit more. and. Um, if you're really looking into lowering your car, this will give you a pretty good idea of what it might look like, or you know, if you just want to do it for fun, whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. And if you have any questions on how to lower a car in Photoshop, you can shoot me an email or leave a comment down below. Thanks, guys.